Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a new week and a new beach clean adventure with myself, Professor Labs. And this week, like I mentioned in my video last week, I wanted to do a bit of a unique challenge that I've been interested in for a while, which is to try to collect a thousand cigarette butts in one beach clean. And probably it's going to wind up being several beach cleans. So maybe one day of beach cleaning, because the place where I want to start, I actually did a beach clean event here maybe about a month ago and one of the things I collected a lot of were cigarette butts so I probably should have just done that challenge then because I think at that time we collected collectively maybe with I don't know half a dozen of us 850 ish cigarette butts so I know this beach has a ton I'm in the parking lot here at the main section so I I would imagine that I'm still going to find plenty even though I picked up close to a thousand about a month ago. There's a lot of people who still come. The weather's still nice. It's early, mid-fall-ish, and people sit in the parking lot. They smoke cigarettes and flick them, so it should be interesting alone to see how many new cigarette butts have shown up here in the time since I last cleaned, and that in of itself is telling, so anyways, I'm going to start at this beach. Like I said, I hope yet don't hope that I'm able to get a thousand cigarette butts, and if I'm not, there's a couple other local beaches I'm going to drive up to and see if over the course of this morning and maybe even afternoon, I can hit my 1,000 cigarette butt challenge goal. So we'll see. No way of really telling until you get out on the sand. So we'll grab the picker and see what we find. Well, a few observations just initially. First of all, it is an absolutely beautiful day out here. And uh, I would imagine it's gonna fill up pretty quickly. So I'm glad I came early and here we go. First cigarette, but like I said, right on the edge of the parking lot. So I would imagine, like I said, we're gonna find many more of these. So yeah, we'll head down and uh, see how many we can collect. Beautiful day at least, so. Let's uh, get butt hunting. So there's definitely more cigarette butts since I was last here, and as you can see, they're sort of, I don't know if you can see, they're sort of all along this parking lot beach border here. And that sort of makes sense, right? People flick their cigarettes, as I said, in the parking lot, and uh, all it takes is a strong rain to wash it right on over to the beach or gust of wind, and now it's beach pollution. So yeah, let's uh, keep going, see how many we can find. You know, it occurs to me to mention or I guess clarify as we continue on the beach here that one of the reasons to pick up cigarette butts is obviously because, well, it is ocean pollution, but it's actually ocean plastic pollution, which not a lot of people know. Cigarette filters over the years have been replaced with the uh, plastic ones. So yeah, there's uh, <laughs> more than one reason to not smoke kids. Obviously, not only are these cigarette butts full of toxic chemicals and when you smoke them you're smoking toxic chemicals but yay now you're smoking plastic too so all the more reason to pick it up from these marine environments and you can see as I make it into these tide line areas it gets really hard to distinguish some of these cigarette butts from the reeds they kind of blend in especially as they get more degraded so I'm going to try to keep finding some because they're definitely in here as I walk along the tide line reeds. And uh, there's another parking lot down about half a mile, and I'm sure we'll find many more there because I was finding a ton over by the first parking lot where I did park by especially benches and garbage cans. People seem to think that flicking cigarette butts near garbage cans counts as cleaning them up, but 
only when I come and get them. <laughs> so uh, I'm sure we'll find many more down at that other parking lot, but yeah, probably some more along the way too. So let's keep going. All right, well, I am bushed, bushwhacked. I'm tired. <laughs> Been out here for over four hours now cleaning up butts, and I was right, that parking lot down there was stock full of fresh cigarette butts. It's kind of disappointing to see how people are leaving fresh cigarette butts there daily, but I have some thoughts on, you know, maybe what some comprehensive solutions are to deal with this ongoing issue, just based on my observations. But first of all, anyways, this was the bag I collected. It's not quite full, but I'm actually worried because it's getting pretty heavy. So I don't know if I got quite to a thousand cigarette butts, but I'm gonna dump it out now and count. And hopefully I met my challenge goal. If not, it's still a very big full bag of terrible smelling cigarette butts. So let's dump it out and uh, do the count. All right, well, the final tally is in, and I don't like to gloat or brag in matters trash, but I counted, I was worried about getting a 1,000 cigarette butts. I counted a total of 1,403. Yes, that's one, four, zero, three, which is <laughs> unfortunately way more than I expected. Again, as I said, once I hit that parking lot down there, really just endless cigarette butts. and. As I was saying, that's sort of disappointing because I know that that's just people flicking them in the parking lot or chilling on the beach and not tossing them away. And yeah, it's it's an interesting example of ocean pollution when you think about cigarette butts. I read somewhere that cigarette butts are now the number one form of plastic ocean pollution. And I don't know if that's by volume or the amount, the number of cigarette butts, but because they do use plastic, it counts as plastic ocean pollution because that's what it is. As I mentioned earlier, there's plenty of other toxins and those sorts of things too, but really what stands out to me is the fact that, again, it, it always comes back to this idea of tragedy of the commons. You know, if you're smoking and you flick a single cigarette butt, it's just one cigarette butt, but every single one here, over a thousand of them, somebody made that individual choice again and again and again, and in isolation, again, it just seems like one, but as you can see, it adds up, and I was able to do that many on this beach in just about four hours. Um, if I was here with other cleaners, I'm sure we might have gotten thousands of cigarette butts. So I definitely have some ideas for solutions to try to mitigate this issue. You know, part of the problem is the fact that much like with other ocean plastic pollution or just ocean waste in general, we saw the examples where people are definitely littering it at the beach, but it also comes in runoff form from storm drains, people flick them in the streets or outside in their yard. Again, plastic trash is in no rush to get down to the ocean over the days or over the years as storm runoff washes it down to lower points, such as the water. So yeah, I think it's good for people to be more sort of um, considerate and aware of that as a contributing factor. But I was also thinking that it would be great if they had those cigarette stands here at the beach. I don't know if everybody would use them, but 
that could be a nice start because they don't have any of that. And I was actually talking to a nice couple of people down by the first parking lot earlier and they said they thought that would be great. Um, so maybe that's something that I can talk to my town about or if anybody else has had experiences with their town or local municipality installing stuff like that, I would love to know. I talked to in the village where I live, uh, the village gardener once about getting some of those on the street there because those cigarette collectors are good for people just smoking outside of bars who otherwise flick them. And she said that they used to have them, but drunk people would tackle them and destroy them and throw them in the street. So yeah, it's an uphill battle with some of these initiatives in terms of their practical logistical implications. But I don't know, I feel like there are solutions out there um, such as that sort of thing. And again, in terms of what to do with them when you collect them, I have no idea. I was telling those people who I met down there that because they asked me, what do I do with the cigarette butts? And I said, I have no idea. But if you go back and you watch my beach clean videos about my Wilson tennis ball beach clean up collaboration where I recycled over a thousand tennis balls with Wilson Sporting Goods, I initially didn't know what to do with tennis balls when I was finding them. But somebody saw my video and put me in touch with Wilson and they had a whole recycling program for at least trying to do something um, with tennis balls. And again, I think that's really the progress that uh, ultimately needs to be done. I mean, it's it's a step-by-step -step thing. You don't necessarily have the answers right away. So it's cool. It's fun to be part of that process, or at least that's how I think of it. So anyways, yeah, 1,403 cigarettes, 1,403 cigarette butts. So I'm a butt done. And uh, I think that pun is evident that I need to go get something to eat and drink more water. <laughs> it's an absolutely beautiful day. Uh, again, I was talking to some people. It was nice to have people see what I was doing. And, you know, they, they say as well that they pick up too or they're going to pick up too. So you spread the word, you know, little steps, big changes. That's what it's about. And we can all only do our part however we can. But every little bit is that movement in a better direction, I like to think at least. So. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Absolutely beautiful fall weather. Not too windy, not too chilly, plenty of sun. It's a Thursday, so there's not many people here. I'll take that every time. Uh, so if you like these videos, uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe. I, I don't really care <laughs> if you like them, subscribe, but um, I'm not looking for high sub counts or anything like that. I was giving a, uh, a beach clean talk to my school's environmental club last night and I said ideally I don't want to be making these videos I would love to do nature hiking videos or something maybe one day instead of cleaning up trash but in the meantime I love highlighting it and you know sharing ideas for what we can all do more collectively maybe bit by bit but yeah so if you do like that and you do have ideas or experiences of your own yeah again subscribe comment like I said, I, I always learn things from people who have had similar experiences, different experiences in the comments section. Really awesome people. Uh, it's great to, to learn from them too. So I encourage it and I, I love to hear your thoughts as well. So anyways, that's it for this week. We'll be back soon. Don't know when, don't know where, but where there's trash, I will, I will appear. So <laughs> until then, uh, stay safe out there, be well, clean well, and hope to see you on the beach. Take care.